CTV's Heather Wright is live in Mississauga tonight with details of an alleged scam targeting would-be renters. Heather. Well, Michelle, in some cases, police say that would-be tenants would show up to their new room that they had rented only to find that that room was occupied. In another case, we heard from one person who says they showed up to move into a basement apartment only to find that it was still unfinished. Police say there are more than a dozen victims in this scam and they would like more people to come forward. An affordable place to live just north of the airport. It was an ad at least 14 people jumped at, and according to police, those 14 people lost thousands. They paid first and last month rent, and when on the move day, uh, when they attended the apartment, it was occupied by, uh, by tenants. Police have arrested Steen Kalala, who they say was posting multiple ads on Kijiji, advertising rooms for rent in the Goreway and Morningstar Drive area. They say he took as much as $20,000 from would-be tenants. We advise people to be very cautious of anything uh, advertised online, verify through uh, reviews by, uh, in, in this uh, particular case, uh, attending the apartment and, uh, you know, doing their background checks. Police believe the ads were posted from October through to May, and at least one person did post a review, uploading their own ad on Kijiji, warning others about this alleged scam. They wrote, he takes first and last for an unfinished basement and then does not have it ready by move-in date. We spoke with one man who lives here. Now, he didn't want to appear on camera, but he says several people rent the rooms inside this townhome. He says he pays his rent to Steen Kalala, the man charged by Peel Police. And he says no one is living in the basement because the basement is unfinished. Neighbors don't know much about the man charged by police, but feel for the victims. It's pretty hard, you know, because you give up all that money and this guy just took off. Police have charged Kalala with one count of defraud public. He has been released, but will be back in court at the end of the month. And because these ads were online for more than eight months, police believe there may be more victims out there. They're asking anyone who thinks they might have fallen victim to a scam like this to get in touch with them. Reporting live in Mississauga, I'm Heather Wright. I'll send it back to you.